like, what was she doing? It was the brainless meat. <laughs> Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, bugs. Ah. Oh. Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name is Sean and behind the camera we have Tom. So. And today we are just picking a random movie, Tom. We're, we're out of our sci-fi playlist. And we're in a weird transition period where uh, we, we've stopped doing the playlists and we're starting to do Patreon polls, so our Patreon subscribers are picking every movie that we react to. But there's a little bit of an in-between delay here, where we're just picking random movies until the Patreon starts. Right now, it, this is going to be released in, in July, um, so... Right now, we've probably got a poll up on our Patreon page. Right now, you can subscribe to the lowest tier on Patreon and start voting for what films you want to what uh, want us to watch next. So, link in the description for that. I'm so excited for this reaction, Sean. Yeah. So this reaction, I've actually already seen this. I you went to the rat in the grass. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I I I broke a promise to Tom. I went to the cinema to see it because I, Evil Dead, right, is one of my favourite franchises. My dad showed me the original uh, three movies when I was little and my first film that I saw at the cinema when the uh, R-rated film 18 was e the, e the remake Evil Dead 2013 remake uh, which we haven't watched on the channel yet but today we are watching Evil Dead Rise the very recent movie that came out th this year um, and I have no idea I've heard that it's really really Gory. I'm wondering if it's as dark as the Evil Dead remake. Yeah, so... Um, I'm wondering if it's got... But then the trailer looked like it did go back to like the comedy of the Deadites as well. Yeah, so I think I think what I love... What my favourite Evil Dead movie is Evil Dead 1. Okay, despite what the popular belief or what everyone else's opinion is, I think a lot of people more you know look towards evil dead 2 because of the mixture of horror and comedy however me as a hardcore horror fan i love uh evil dead 1 not just because of its core horror but because of how indie it is and how how yeah. much sam it's just sam raimi and his friends making a movie and i love that we, and it really comes across about it, how it's so admir it's like admirable. So admir admirable that he yeah. made that and it's such a kind of dream dream is that you've always thought of, of that that sort of uh, method of making a film? Yeah, I, I, I've got a massive inspiration uh, when watching that when I'm watching that movie and uh, and just the different you know things and different uh, techniques that he experimented with. It, it, I just love it. So this movie is hardcore horror, which I'm glad about. You say there were sprinkles of little uh, deadite comedy here and there. I'd say. Probably not oh, as much. Okay, okay. So it's um, be high call then. I, th I think Check I think you'll get a little chuckles. Us. I think you get might get a little chuckles here and there just because of like how nostalgic it is. But um, and it's a different take. This movie it's not in a cabin. It's uh, in a block of flats. And we just had Scream in New York as well. So. Yeah, but you know it still follows some of the same story beats, I which is nice. Like, I do like how we're getting fresh takes on old school horror, like. Prey that came out that we watched on the channel. Yeah. Um, uh, there's an alien being good directed by. Um, ah, uh, what? Well, uh, 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 Fede Alvarez, yeah. who directed the um, 2013 Evil Dead, yeah, so which I'm excited cool. about. But um, yeah, this one is going to be a, a fun ride, and if you want to watch this along with us, the full length reaction, link in the description for our Patreon page is down below. And make sure you subscribe as well and hit the notification bell if you like this video and you want to see more from our channel. And if you didn't know, Sean's got his new setup studio style room coming soon. Yeah, very Sean, soon. I thought I'd get you a housewarming present oh. for the room. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't got a frame for it. Oh, because okay. Because I thought, you know, let the guy choose his own frame. But... Um, <laughs> Thank I you. This will be a cool video for us to, yeah. to see the poster in. It's openly the render. Right? Oh, thank you. I, I was not expecting this whatsoever. It's Mean Girls. It's Mean Girls. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't even know if it's true quality, but it should be. Have you not looked at it yet, though? No. I don't know. Carry it on. Uh, oh. oh, it's a nice little nice, nice material. The glossy kind. 
No, it's like a felt. Is it? Yeah. Oh. oh. And I'm glad very you said that one. I'm glad you said that one was your favourite one yeah. as well. Yeah, very yeah. fitting. That's really nice material. Feel that. It's like a felt. Oh yeah, it's that's nice. quite nice. It's printed quite nice. Yeah. No, oh, thank you, Tom. Yeah. That's that's brilliant. I'm so gonna I'm be sure, hanging that up. I'm hoping it'll be on Sean's wall at some point. Yes. You can see it in the background of the video. Yes, you definitely will. Thank you, Tom. But let's go. All right, let's uh, rise. Evil Dead Rise, two thousand twenty-three. Let's go. The classics. <laughs> it's a very different. It's, it's a very different vibe though, because it's, it's very, very green. It looks very clean. In yeah. fact, it looks CG. Yeah. I, I don't think it's CG, but look, it's very green and vibrant. Yeah. Whereas before, it's normally like a forest. Dead, dead. forest. <laughs> Why didn't I think of something like that? Yeah, <laughs> quite cool. Wow, that's a, a bit of an uncanny setting, isn't it? Hmm. I love. We were talking about board games before this. Wouldn't it be great to have a board game like where you don't know who the deadite is, <laughs> and then they reveal themselves? Yeah, like, it's like Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> Since none of these other friends of yours bothered to show up, can I take your car and escape the hell of being stuck here with your latest boyfriend? Mm. She's just ill, Tom. Mm. She's just feeling under the weather. And when I say under the weather, I mean like really under, like almost hell depths. In a most melancholy voice, sobbed, Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Is that the book she's reading? Sir. Yeah. Finding it useless to attempt shaking the creature off, I pulled its wrist onto the broken pane. Jess. I love the Deadites' voices. Till the blood ran down and soaked in the bed clothes, yet still it wailed. Let me out! <laughs> I'd be running, mate. I'd be like, why? Why was your voice like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what's she doing? It was the brainless meat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <gasps> it was the tearing sound. Oh my god, what the hell happened? Oh. <laughs> the sound. Oh. In her own head. Yeah. How is she still alive with a scalp off like that? Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Wow! <laughs> it's even got reflections in the water the title. That was a cool sequence. That was a cool sequence. An opening sequence. The guy's yeah. head when it hit the pier was a bit weird. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Practical effects though, mixed with CG. Like mixed, CG. it was mixed. So yeah. I, I, I like that, it's got a charm to it. Yeah. Bear, you bitch. I thought she broke her nose. <laughs> You've been sleeping? You look like mom. It's looking like a tampon. <laughs> Danny told me that when this building used to be a bank, a teller got caught stealing and hung himself. And if you walk around with coins in your pockets, his ghost hears the jingle. And he scares you to death so he can take all your money. What? Why would you say that? Stephanie will scare him to death first. Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> she is freaky. You know like a Toy Story, Story doll. Yeah, I was thinking that. Bridge. You want to carry them? Imagine being yeah. pregnant yeah. in this situation Where is the though. Evil book. The. Why is it going out of my mind? Book of the Dead Necronomicon. The Necronomicon. And I don't think we've had kids in an Evil Dead movie either. No. Which is new. But I don't know if that will fit because Evil Dead's normally messed. Like. Yeah. 
It's not ruined. It's still good. It's still yeah. good. There's a hole. That that never nobody ever started a sentence in a horror film like that and it ended well. <laughs> <laughs> After Dan, an earthquake, out. you're on a, in a high rise building in the basement. And there's a oh, hole, sinkhole. you would never go in there. I buried her body in the wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Bank vault. Danny, go! Oh, please. Oh, yeah, it was built on top of a bank, wasn't it? There could be money in there, to be fair. That's what I think he's thinking. But he could also be crushed to death by falling rubble. That's not what he's thinking. <laughs> Is he gonna find the Necronomicon that somebody put? Oh. That somebody put in that like a bank cabin. vault. Was it? Yeah, with three priests in front of it, with holding a book. Ah, interesting. I wonder if some priests found the cabin and ended up exercising the people. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't get me. I know. I was waiting for it. So, in all of the Evil Dead movies, these they've listened to a recording. Why the haven't one... they done a movie about that? Oh, the like original, the origin, yeah. the origin of yeah, the Evil Dead. He found the book originally, didn't he, and was yeah. studying it. Yeah, went to a cabin in the woods to be isolated, and then his wife was there. Yeah, what a great idea. Mm. Sam Raimi, you heard it here first. Do an origin story of your original movie. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, all sort of flying cockroaches. Well, there's Jesus and a load of hanging there crosses as well. There's a load of hanging crosses as well. Made of human skin. Mm. This is an inventive way to bring in the Necronomicon because I was wondering how they were going to do it. I thought they were just going yeah. to go to like a bookstore or something yeah. and find it. Let's roll. They are all dead. <laughs> calling it now. No, Tom. They're all. Evil dead. Oh, oh. Let me see it. Oh my god, it's freaky. I hate the sound in this film. Like little screams. screams. Yeah. It's like that book in Harry Potter. That's yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> you need to put it back right now. I'd check it out the window. Me? He's gonna sit there reading it. Of course he is. You mustn't read from the book! <laughs> if you don't read it... Oh my god, was this in there? Yeah. Is this the OG? Destroy it! It's called the Book of the Dead for a reason! I seek to look at this book for the good of man! Why? It's such an interesting topic. I'd love to see a prequel just exploring that. What with that, a priest? That as well. prequel, yeah. With a priest and going they, and getting obsessed with it. Yeah, and how they come across it. Kanda. Oh, see, I like the fact that he tried to stop yeah. it, but it just carried on. But I like how there's a kind of it's from hell and there's a there's a world below in it. Yeah. This is way more like it. I like how it just needed one word in order to... Into, like a crack in the door just to get yeah, its hand yeah, in yeah. and then you can't it's stop demons, it. yeah. Like someone, something's playing with her. In the in the elevator with her. It's lifting the hair. It's like toying with her. The hell's that? Why? Oh, it's like the tree scene. Like the tree scene, yeah. The notorious tree scene. It almost yeah. had it banned. Yeah. Well, it did have it banned. The first movie. It was a video nasty. No, straight away I'd know. My son summoned dead like demons that have to. Oh, the wires are cutting her. A... 
Oh! She broke her arm. See, that's the kind of... That's where I like when CGI comes in because that was great. Yeah, yeah. Like, that looked a simple movement, but you know that that would be... Oh, I'm all that... It's uncanny enough mm. and subtle enough to include as a CGI. I've said it before and I'll say it again, man. Don't read dead Latin languages from books made of human skin. You say that, but I would be intrigued. Yeah, well, you'd be possessed then, mate, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'd, at least I get to kill you. Attacked by elevator ropes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has escalated quickly. Yep. Her, as a possessed woman, she makes the film. Her movements, Mom? the way she like moves her body is just, it's like a dance, it's, like, it's incredible. It was the perfect day and all I could think about was how much I wanted to cut you all open and climb inside your body so that we could stay one happy family. <laughs> her face is so uncanny there. Yeah. It's me. She wasn't able to get out for a second. Look at look at her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is me after that, that Greek uh, scapasti, mate. <laughs> Don't let it take my babies. So she was able to get out of it yeah, for, a set, for a moment to be like, but so what? it's not right, but what? save my babies. Yeah. I can't believe I'm never going to speak to you again. She's going to say something, isn't she? Hey, Becky, this <laughs> is Calling to say hi. And, uh, Beth, Beth, you have to help me, Beth. You have to. I'm burning. I'm burning a lot. I'm burning. Oh, oh, that's creepy as hell. Don't look back. <laughs> I hated that phone call. A voicemail. It was like the actual person trapped. Yeah, it's horrible. She's burning up. Reminds me of like the audible equivalent. <laughs> At that point, you're just like, okay, this ain't mummy. Mom? Mummy's with the maggots now. Oh, that looked like a stop motion almost, like technique with the frame rate then. Like an uncanny. She's got very elongated movement so that she yeah. can sit there. Look at the way she's moving. It's almost like. <gasps> trying to figure out this body. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like a puppet. Yeah. It's like looking around the place and it really feels like a visitor. Let me kiss it better. Oh, it was so hard she went into flying into the other room. <laughs> oh, his eye! <laughs> no, come on. That was a homage to obviously Evil Dead 2, where the eye pops out, or Evil Dead 1, I can't remember. Eye pops out into, I think it was 2. <laughs> I 
I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> it happened so fast. <laughs> it did happen fast, didn't it? <laughs> but then I can't. Oh! Ripped his neck! What is this, Danny? It's a fucking book, obviously. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Is she infected? Ow. It's like the hand, isn't it? Yeah, but your hand can't... Your cheek can't kill you, <laughs> your hand can. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Maybe we were wrong. Oh, bloody hell. Oh! Okay, we were wrong. She's going to drown that, anyway, those, Is that practical effects? Because that looks really weird. I don't see how they would do that if it was... They could have painted out, like, the tubes. Yeah. Oh, there you are. See? This makes more sense. It's not dumb characters. It's a kid. It's a kid. Yeah. Which is it's more believable. Who's asking what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, bugs. Oh. You don't look so good, Mom. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> Nothing a big old house. That's what I say to my mum <laughs> in the mornings. <laughs> oh my god, please don't. She's going to. I know she's going to. Do it for mom and dad. <laughs> oh, that voice change is so good. She didn't even wait for it to open the door all the way. Jesus, terrifying. Chop the hand off. Open the door like you open your legs, you stinking ruby slut. I'm not a groovy, you psycho bitch. Oh god, she's possessed now as well. Are you kidding me? What makes you think that? She's crouching like Spider Man. <laughs> On the, on the kitchen top. <laughs> My video was just a fan of Tom Holland. Oh! I gotta kill the creepy crawlies that I got inside my tongue. Oh! Creepy crawlies. Oh my gosh, Sean, what the f- uh, uh. That looked legit as well. I thought it was going to be oh. comical with a bit of skin hanging off, but it looked legit. <laughs> Stephanie! To the rescue. That's literally her sister, though. Yeah, I know. We're only doing pretend, don't worry. <laughs> what do you say to a kid? Well, they just absolutely Stephanie their own sister. <laughs> Staff the fuck out of her. This is what happened to Bridget and Mom gonna happen to us? Yes. I'm not gonna let that happen. She already sounds I like promise. a dead eye. I would hate to be <laughs> your kid in this situation. Yes, I will. <laughs> no hope. I thought I should tie her up. Just in case. That's horrific. It's a horrific image. Yeah, but he's true. He's yeah, true. I know. The cat. Oh wait, she's up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just noticed. I just it. realised I thought they were all three of them still there. No, nope. he stabbed her. It's like a ghost story, Tom, but with blood. <laughs> and help for you and your unborn bastard baby. Jesus. <laughs> Christ. Daddy, Bob. Oh, the 
scissors from before. Oh. Thank God they weren't safety scissors. <laughs> yeah. The benefits of giving your child real scissors. <laughs> I know there was one. Sharp ones as well. Oh! It's disgusting. And if they're all as powerful as her, uh, they're dead. How are they getting out there with the current? <laughs> There's so many of them as well. Great line though. Yeah. Was that in the others as well then? Wasn't the Evil Dead 2 subtitled Dead by Dawn? Maybe. It's like the reverse of The Shining, but like inside there. <laughs> yeah. This is what happened in the elevator in The Shining. <laughs> Woo! Shining reference is a homage, isn't it? Yeah. She looked like a doll. Am I dead? I don't know, are you? Could be a dead eye. <laughs> yes, I am. Come on, come on. Just go! I would just run through it. I'll just try it. I don't. I'd probably die and. <laughs> Smart, yeah. It knows you're there. I feel like it's like. Oh! <laughs> Girl, for God's sake. Ah! I'll be like, well, I tried. See you, see ya. I don't want to see it. Ah! Ah! It's terrifying, it's terrifying, it's terrifying. Get up, get up, get up! That was cool. Yeah. She just massacred her whole family. Not just anyone <laughs> else not to become infected as well, though. Help me, Betty Boop. Only my sister gets to call me that. Oh! <laughs> and you're gonna fail miserably just like her. You stinking horrible girl! <laughs> <laughs> that kid is ruined for life. She just massacred her whole family. How's she gonna get over that? Her life's ruined. I don't, I don't know, Sean. <laughs> her life's ruined. You know what? I want a sequel just to see what how she's doing in life. <laughs> Oh, 
so now she's inherited Ash's chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if the Evil Dead series was like every other franchise sequel where the original cast comes back and then they d- kill them off? Imagine if they killed off Ash. Yeah, it'd like be it. uproar. I reckon they could do it quite well though. Is this someone else in the same building? Oh, the yeah. woman. There were loads of floors. The woman from the start. Yeah, it did say one day ago, didn't it? No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You just wouldn't. <laughs> Come on. Why? If there's blood everywhere. I've come to understand, Sean, that these films wouldn't happen without the idiots. Classic ending. Yep. Okay. So, Evil Dead Rise 2023. So, I've obviously seen the film before, so I want Tom's initial reactions All to right. it. All right. Having, oh, yeah. se- having seen the original, the, the uh, uh, number two on the channel, and Army of Darkness on the channel, yeah. and then having watched the remake years ago, I obviously probably haven't remembered yeah. everything from it, but... What did you think? I actually really liked this film. I thought it was good. Uh, it was quite exhilarating, like the yeah. the relentless pace of it. Yeah. Um, it's kind of everything that you like and expect from Evil Dead. Yeah. Um, with the the un uh, like the relentless, relentless gore, the practical effects, they were amazing. They were really, but like grotesque. Yeah. Really grotesque in this. It's the first, not the first time, but. It's the first time there's been such a heavy realism to it that it almost makes you feel sick yourself. Yeah. Because it was it was relentless. Like I think one of the best things I, I said about this earlier on as well is like the sound design is so so on good. is so amazing that it really hammers home all of the grotesque bits and pieces. I mean, the plot's simplistic. It is just the same as the Evil Dead. Yeah. In that it's people reading from the Necronomicon and then just surviving as everyone's becoming possessed around them. But that's not a bad thing. Like, yeah, it's the isolation of the setting which creates the tension and the fear. Yeah. Um, and it's the the practicality of the way that the people are killed and possessed and mutilated and things which are horrifying. Yeah. Um, you know, no one's asking for an Evil Dead uh, movie to... Uh, have a great script. No, 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 not that. It has a great script, but no one's expecting the Evil Dead to be reinvented. Or you to know, deviate. Every, everyone, everyone loves the formula, yeah. but and I, no one is. There's no one that is bored yeah. of this formula. But I do think the new setting gave it a level of freshness or vitality yeah. that it would have lacked Des- if it was still set in the cabin Des- again. Despite still hitting the plot points. In a cabin, mm. like obviously the cabin is a, just another isolated mm. uh, uh, um, setting. The sky rise is another highlight um, uh, isolated setting, but and even despite the plot points hitting, and there are similarities like like the uh, the mum being trapped outside in the corridor is reminiscent of uh, the wine cellar, um, and, and all of these different things like you know finding the book and reading from it. All these things are very similar. And what you expect from an Evil Dead movie, mm. but because there's a tiny, tiny change change in setting, it feels fresh, but it's not actually. Yeah, and I you could set it anyway. You could set one on a boat in the ocean. It would still be <laughs> yeah. really isolating and cool. Yeah, but I think one of the strengths as well is the woman who played the mother. I can't remember the actress's name. Like, is incredible. She was really good. And normally the Deadites can come across as like too comical, but it was scary down to the T. But the thing her, is, right? I, I feel like in the in the Evil Dead remake, I felt like I felt like there wasn't really any standouts. There was you know, the the, the, the girl that was possessed in it, she did an alright job, but mm. everyone was just a bit mediocre and you were there for the gore and that was about it. This, the performance of the, the, the mum in this really makes this movie shine. Yeah. Like I said in the reaction, the way she performs in terms of her body movement is is so different. It's a it's a really interesting way that she portrayed it. 
yes, people have done it uh, before in in the previous movie, especially in the in the, in the remake. But there's a real emphasis on her movements, mm. and I like I said to you, it really felt like there was this thing that came from another world entered her body and was trying to yeah, figure her body out and the, looking around and seeing this new world. The unwritten law and the recordings worked really well here like to create that level of eeriness and fear. Uh, but but the, I, I also felt that the recordings were... They felt more substantial. They felt that there was a bit more substance there. You always got a tiny bit of a story in there, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. And I think the guy's, more the, guy's story. the guy's voice who was narrating it was just really good. He was gripping. Performer as well. Really gripping. As a voice actor. But, um, man, the only thing, the only gripe I have is, like, <clears throat> it seems to me that Evil Dead split off into two things. One being the the remake and this film and the other one being Ash v the Evil Dead which is the, comic. the more comical and cartoonish yeah. and I kind of tend to gravitate towards liking the South parody of it in that okay but then I love this as well it's, it's I don't want to compare the two because I was I was half hoping for the whole time that Bruce Campbell would be there, <laughs> but even just as like a other character or something but um, yeah it was good I hope we get another film. Just, just on on your um, preferring the comedy, you know, I like it. I, I, I like the comedy as well. I do really like mm. it, but I think I just connect more with pure horror because with comedy, it's subjective and it's actually very hard to write a good comedy. Mm. And I think the Evil Dead franchise, re- especially Ash versus Evil Dead, it's got a really good tone and it hits the comedy yeah. on, on, the, guess, on the head. I guess sometimes with Army of Darkness and Evil Dead 2 especially, it becomes a bit slapstick, doesn't yeah. it? So it completely takes away the horror. But for, but for me, I connect more with the pure horror because as a wannabe filmmaker, mm. um, it's more attainable <laughs> like in terms of a vision. Mm. Like it's more attainable, whereas comedy, it's really hard to write. So yeah. I, it, I love Evil Dead because it's gory, it's practical effects... And it's it, it's an insane, enjoyable ride. But I also love it because it's inspirational and uh, it makes you feel like it's easily obtainable because Sam Raimi did it back in the 80s with... No, 70s. I think the first one was 70s. 70, 79, maybe, or 78, um, with Evil Dead. And that, I just I just love that. Yeah. I, I, that as a core, as a, you know, as a core value uh, of the Evil Dead franchise mm. or look, you know it, that's the reason why I love the Evil Dead yeah franchise. I mean I think Lee Cronin did well here like just yeah. in f- filming it and unraveling the scenes as well but being inventive with how certain scenes were, were do you think this was more written. grotesque than the remake yeah do you think everyone I mean well, I saw a couple I, of reviews saying about, it wasn't I thought I remember about the first one is it was a bit more gritty and dark in like the blood that was shown and, okay. and uh, I can't really remember that, but Cause, this, cause, was, this was more I think had a more volume of gore and a more consistent yeah I think yeah. whereas I think the, the the pacing in this was is quite quite nice it's a quite a smooth uh, ride in in terms of like propelling the audience into the next scene whereas I think the 2013 movie there's a slight issue with pacing where it's stop start stop start stop start stop start mm. um whereas this it doesn't give you much time to stop mm. uh which is good yeah but all in all i thought it was great what would you give it um so i do think this was better than the 2013 remake i do like the 2013 remake and i do like Fede alvarez and i'd be interested to see what his alien film uh is going to be like yeah this is a a really good time Obviously, it's my second view viewing as well, and you know I liked it just a, just as much. Um, I do think it's something that you need to watch in the cinema, though, or at least in a surround sound mm. environment, because it just obviously accentuates the the uh, you know the sound design. Like you said, it's incredible in the cinema. I'm going to rate this. I'll probably rate it a seven point seven out of ten. Well, I was thinking 7.8, so I'm going to stick with really? my 7.8, yeah. Horror fans, horror lately is the genre. Like, 
Man, I'm telling you, it's my favourite genre. Yeah. It's so versatile, yeah, despite what everyone thinks. It's so inventive. And I know people are hung up on people on franchise kind of um, fatigue. But I think with horror, you know, with Scream, with Evil Dead, um, Prey, hopefully some of the other ones soon as well, we are we still have that vitality there. So Yeah, I, I, I think that people are doing the right thing uh, lately in tackling certain uh, IPs from just a different angle yeah. a new yeah. angle a new perspective yeah um, and I wonder if hopefully that I wonder will... if they can do that with the big hitters like Friday, Friday the 13th. 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street because I feel like they will eventually come yeah. through I mean Halloween obviously has recently had a revamp but um, but not really from a different perspective mm. so I'm intrigued to see mm. what other people do let us know what you thought of Evil Dead Rise <laughs> Yes. Uh, do you agree with our scores? 7.7 and 7.8. Um, let us know in the comments down below where this ranks in your uh, Evil Dead uh, franchise canon. Canon. Um, but if you want to watch the full length reaction along with us as well, click the link in the description below for our Patreon page. And don't forget to leave a little subscribe and like in order to watch the rest of our content. Yeah. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.